What's up everybody? It is the Goal 60 here for Tuesday, May the 8th, 2018. So yesterday we had a day where everything went our way. We went 3-0 and in our official plays. Two of those games jumped out, held the lead the entire game. The other game we were down, came back, took the lead late in the game, and finished it off. Two of the three unofficial plays also cashed without even having really a ball game. And then the third did not cash but looks to turn over today. Now today we pick up two more official plays and also an unofficial play. Just to recap real quick of yesterday's games, the first play we had was the Mets. The Mets jumped out, had some runs, took the lead early, never really looked back, but allowed the Reds to almost come back and tie it up with us. In the eighth inning, it was seven to five Mets. The Reds hit a home run, and then we had to get out of a jam and luckily come up in the ninth inning, closer come in, three up, three down, we move on. The next game we had was uh, the Rangers. The Rangers started playing about an hour later. Rangers were playing uh, Detroit. They fell behind. They actually came out and got the lead one to nothing. And then uh, the Tigers kind of started putting things together, started putting runs together. And at one point we're up five to one. And then the Rangers had a big inning where they come back and tied the game up five to five. We end up winning the game uh, seven to six. So we move on from that. They were an underdog play and we won the game outright. So on the run line, won the game outright. And then the third play was a late game last night and it was the Nationals against the Padres. Now yesterday in the video, I said the Nationals were at home. I was wrong. They were on the road yesterday. But they did get the job done. They came out in the first inning, hit a home run, top of the first, and then ended up adding seven more runs. And they were up eight to one at one point. Now they did let the uh, Padres come back a little bit. They ended up winning the game though, eight to five. So we took all three games that we had, all three A bets, all won yesterday. So it was. I'm very excited about that. I'm sure you can tell it, just in the my emotions or whatever. But the two unofficial plays that we had yesterday that were three game series Houston and the Cubs both won their games easily one of them won the game 16 to 2 the other one was 14 to 2 and then the four game series that we had we were looking at as an unofficial play the Giants come out and just completely laid an egg so yesterday the Mets came out put up seven runs the Giants came out put up zero runs that would have been really nice to have seen on Sunday when those two teams played each other and we had the Mets in a C bet. But either way, don't talk about the past, just move on, right? So that's what we're gonna do. So today, we actually pick up two new plays and one unofficial play. So the first game I'll talk about is Kansas City at Baltimore. Now these two teams are not the best teams in the league by far. I do feel like Baltimore is a little bit better and they come back home after a long road trip last week. So maybe they can get it going at home. Now, the RPI has Kansas City as .410, which is in the bottom three. And they also have Baltimore at .438. So Baltimore will be who we look at here. The price is in our range. It's minus 149, so that is the first play for today. Baltimore minus 149. The next game we're going to look at is the Mariners at the Blue Jays. So currently, the Mariners are at .512 while the Blue Jays are at .506, so it's just right above the, uh, the threshold that we need, just right above five points. So we look at the uh, Mariners on the price, and their price is really good. It's minus 126. So the Mariners minus 126 is the second play. Now the unofficial play that we picked up today is actually, it has two parameters pointing against it. So I would not suggest this for anybody. But I will say that this is going to be a great series and it is the Red Sox and Yankees. This is a, obviously a traditional rivalry. This Both teams are leading that division so they're coming in fighting over the lead and both teams have been playing very well this year. So yesterday I looked at it and the RPI was tied at 564. Actually, last night, with neither team playing, just going off of the other teams that they have played. Remember, the, the formula for RPI is not that just that particular team. It's who they are, but also who they've played in their records. So even on a day where you don't play, you could be affected in the RPI, so you could move a point or two. 
And that's exactly what happened with the Yankees. The Yankees were at .564 and tied with the Red Sox overnight because of teams they had played in the past did well. It actually helped them out. It bumped them up a couple points. So they actually moved up to 566. Now, it's still not enough to get us a play. So either way, but I just went ahead and looked at the price as far as the team that was in the lead. So looked at the Yankees' price. They do have Severino on the mound, and he's been lights out this year. But the price is way too expensive as well. It was minus 205. So I will keep up with this. One thing, because it's such a big rivalry and it's a really good series for this week. But I'll keep talking about it, but I wouldn't suggest taking that for nothing. But we'll move on to the the layover uh, unofficial play that we had from yesterday, which is a four-game series with the Giants. The Giants and the Phillies. Yesterday, the Phillies came out and thumped the Giants pretty bad. So the Giants look to rebound today. They are minus 132 on the run line. So if they can stay in there, they'll win that. Otherwise, they'll be looking at it tomorrow. But they've got to get some runs back going as well. It's amazing to me. I know I talked about this all the time, and this is part of the reason that I, I do love baseball is because one day it's completely separate from the next. It's, you know, the Giants took down the top RPI team this weekend in a sweep. We were on, obviously on the other side with Atlanta. They turn right around, head up to uh, Philadelphia, and lose 11 to nothing the next day. That's amazing to me. It, it's so streaky. It's up and down. There's, you know, there's peaks and valleys. And if you can make it through the valley, back up to the peak, you'll be fine. And that's just, you know, that's a long, long season, 162 games. And these teams, you know, sometimes it's obvious. Sometimes it's because they've brought up young players just to give their starters a break or something like that. And other times it's the same starters that were out there yesterday. They come up and they just can't get it. Either the leader of the team's not hitting the ball or for whatever reason, you know, ace on the mound – like Noah Sunday, Noah had, for the Mets, had two different innings where he was in a bases-loaded jam and had to fight his way out of it. Now, he's good enough that he got out of it, but at the same time, you wouldn't expect him to be in a jam like that, especially in, like, the third and fourth inning. But I say that just to talk about a little bit of side of baseball. So, hope you guys have a great uh, Tuesday, and I will see you back tomorrow morning. 60% of the time, it works every time.